guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Don't mind me while I just brush through my matted mane. It's uh really needs a cut actually, I need to book in for a haircut. It's lost all its kind of like cool shape and stuff. So I need a bit of a restyle. And I'm also thinking maybe I might get my balayage put through again because I don't really have any colour in it anymore. What do you think? Shall I go a little bit lighter again with some balayage through the bottom? Or should I kind of leave it to do its own thing? I really like it when I get like the um, like the auburny kind of toner through it as well to make it a little bit kind of warmer and richer. Um, but I don't know whether to get more highlighty blondy bits put through it like I did back in the day. Maybe. Of course, it'll be another like three weeks now until I remember to actually book an appointment. So I've got plenty of time to think about it. It's another beautiful day today. I haven't bothered putting like proper makeup on because just feels wrong in good weather, doesn't it? Just feels wrong to be wearing foundation and heavy stuff when the sun's shining. Bit of a busy one today. I feel a little bit all over the place. You know when you've got loads like sitting in your brain at the same time that you know you've got to get done and that you know needs doing and that you need to get it all done today? It feels a little bit like cloudy and mad and a bit like when the TV signal breaks up. That's kind of how my brain feels today. I need to write a good old to-do list and see it all written down in front of me and then I'll start to feel a little bit less like I'm holding on by my fingernails on the edge of a cliff. But the main reason that it feels like I've got loads to do today is a very exciting one because tomorrow I'm off on my holidays. Well, sort of, not really a holiday. I'm going back to the Wirral. I'm getting on a train to Liverpool. I'm going to see my family. I'm going to see my best friends. I can't believe it's happening. It's about as close as it gets to a holiday right now, but who needs the Algarve when you've got New Brighton and a chippy from Parkgate? Am I right, we're all people? <laughs> I think there's a few of you. It's actually my best friend Hannah's 30th birthday on Saturday, so it all ties in very nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to heading into Liverpool on Saturday. We're gonna go for like a late lunch slash dinner at a spot called Marais. It is the most delicious restaurant. It's all vegetarian. It's like little small plates of like lots of delicious things. It's like a little veggie tapas kind of setup. Um, oh, it's so good. There's one on Bold Street and there's one on the Albert Dock. I think that's the one we're going to. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna reunite and have loads of drinks and I'm just, I'm just buzzing. Adam's gonna stay at base camp, hang out with Flo. Uh, he's got a few plans this weekend. He's actually here today. So you will actually see him in a video for the first time in ages. Um, he was gonna go into the office this morning, but woke up at like 10 past six and was like, no. And the other pretty exciting news, which I completely forgot to mention when I filmed yesterday, uh, that would have been the video more logically to tell you this, but I got my first vaccine the other day. Um, the 30 plus rollout kicked off <laughs> in England last week. Um, so I swooped straight in there. I thought I would just give you a little bit of reassurance. Personally, um, I felt absolutely no side effects whatsoever. So my immune system must be absolutely sucking on diesel because I didn't feel ill at all. Um, the only thing that I would report was that my arm <laughs> really hurt for like 24 hours afterwards. And as for like the process of getting it done and stuff, I cannot praise it highly enough. Our NHS are incredible. Shout out to you if you work for the NHS, you are doing wonderful things, you magical person. Um, the whole process was amazing. Everyone was so friendly, made some mates in the queue, got a sticker. It was a good time, kind of felt like a weird millennial festival, just lots of 30 year olds in this big hall together. Back to today, as I said, I've got a lot to do. Um, I just need to generally get ready for going away. So I need to spruce the house up a bit. It's looking a bit sorry for itself. I don't know if anyone else is the same. When you're kind of busy, the whole house just kind of falls apart around you. <laughs> um, so I need to give it a good clean, which ties in really nicely with a delivery that I've had actually that I'm excited to show you. I need to pack so you can help me do a little pack with me for my first trip back up north. Then I'm hoping I might have time to go and get my nails done today because this is a, a sorry state of affairs. Tag yourself. I'm either this one, which is missing the colour entirely, or this one, which has been ripped to shreds and oblivion. I need to whack some fake tan on as well. As you can see, my brain is just like buzz, 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 whirring, whirring, so much to do. So we better get cracking. Spotted this morning that this plant is absolutely thriving at the moment, look beautiful new leafage happening. It seems to be like moving upwards as well, which is what I want. I dream of having one of those gorgeous tall ones. Um, so hopefully, little by little, seems to be growing. You can do it. 
keep going. I've had the best delivery. If you are a person who enjoys household products and wholesome home related content, prepare to get excited. Fasten your seatbelts. So I have quite frankly an enormous box next to me right now. I'm gonna lift it up to show you dramatically. As you might spot from this cute little tissue paper, I placed my first Cherries order this week. Cherries have very kindly sponsored this little bit of the vlog. If you haven't heard of Cherries, if you're not familiar with them, um, it's basically a shopping app and it's full of all the essentials that you want for your home. They stock groceries, foods and drinks, there's household items and cleaning products, that kind of thing. There's loads of toiletries on there and it's all really, really affordable with an enormous range of products. I always get very jealous when I see people with lots of lovely cleaning products and lots of different fragrances for their home. Because we don't have a car, we can't get to the normal shops where you might go and browse through all those things and find all the, the exciting like new household products and stuff. This is when you know you're getting old, isn't it? So I was very excited to discover cherries because I can live my household essentials dream. The best way to shop on cherries, which I really enjoyed doing on the sofa in front of the telly the other day, having a little browse, um, is using their app, which is just on my phone here. It's all split up into different sections like garden, there's a summer section, food and drink, kitchen, household cleaning. Um, there's also a brand section, so if you've got particular fave brands, you'll be able to find them in there. Along the bottom here, you might spot the rewards button, and that is your Cherries points page. So as you shop more and you buy your essentials and you stock up, um, you earn Cherries back, which you can then save up as you go, and then you can get free items with them later down the line. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up this time. I was very excited to get an order placed because we were running low of a lot of different things, and I wanted to get some nice new products for cleaning the new bathroom, and to keep the kitchen fresh. There's a few little bits and bobs that I found in the new in section. It's really good to just like have a little scroll through and you'll see loads of things that you're like, oh, actually that's well useful. We could definitely do with that. Um, and that is for sure what happened here. It explains the extremely large box. Most importantly, I've also got a cracking discount code as well. So if you are a new customer to Cherries, you can use the code LucyWood25 and that will get you 25% off your first order on the app plus free delivery for your next three orders. So it's a really great way to save a bit of money on loads of different essentials. And if you're already an existing customer on the app, you can use the code LucyWood and that will get you free delivery on your next three orders as well. That's gonna run between the 9th and the 23rd of June and I am gonna pop a link in the description box down below for you to check out the Cherries app. When I said I've got a lot of random goodies to show you, <laughs> Uh, I wasn't joking. Let's dive in. There is gonna be absolutely no rhyme or reason to any of this whatsoever, she says while waving a dishmatic around. <laughs> Let's start here, shall we? I bought us a dishmatic. It's one of those sponges that you put the you put the washing up liquid in. Genius. Um, and move over, Mrs. Hinch. We've got some fresh minkies, because ours were looking slightly scabby. A cute little green peg basket so I no longer have to store our washing line pegs in a hanging basket. And I also bought these cute pegs. Look, they've got tiny little watermelons on them. Magic clean eraser sponges. These are like magical little things that get rid of like scuffs on the wall and stuff. And I don't know where these came from, Florence, but we seem to have a few little muddy paw prints across our window ledges at the moment. We've got some bamboo cotton buds. Very handy. I got some coffee. <laughs> I actually got two different types of coffee. This is one of our favourite coffees to use in the mocha pot. I thought these were really cute, these little gingham paper cups. I think they'll be great to take to the park on a sunny day. I'm going to be absolutely spoilt for choice in my cleaning cloths. My collection has just expanded dramatically. Uh, I've got this little trio, which I thought were very nice, little grey and pink trio. These are just microfiber cloths, and these are great actually for cleaning like the brushed brass. For a clumsy person who likes to spill things. <laughs> A collection of cloths is always necessary. We'll take this bad boy for a spin later when I have to clean the kitchen. Um, for sparkling clean surfaces. If it can make our kitchen look decent, I'll be impressed. Along with all my new cloths. Capri Suns. Who had Capri Suns in the back there? Did we get any bets on Capri Suns? No one? You should know me by now. Maybe my favourite item of this whole lot because this comes with some nostalgia. Um, I got a packet of animal bars because I used to have these when I was little at my nan and granddad's house and I always used to be particularly excited if I got Lucy Leopard on my animal bar. Um, will these be as delicious as I remember? We've got three, count them, three. A trio of different fragrances in the Fabulosa disinfectant, which I am strangely excited to try. I have seen this all over Instagram. So I picked up the coconut, I picked up the watermelon, and I picked up, what's this one? Oh, mango punch. 
delightful. The thing with Adam is that he thinks he is a professional cleaning pro Mrs Hinch level if he puts a cap full of the floor into the kitchen sink. Uh, he thinks that's job done. The whole kitchen is disinfected. <laughs> Picked up a couple of bottles of the Belvoir Farm drinks. Um, these are just like lovely flavoured sparkly waters. So I picked up the sparkling elderflower and the ginger beer, which I just thought would be really nice for summery evenings in the garden. Placing this order, I took as the perfect opportunity to stock up on like the heavy household stuff, which if we go to the supermarket, we have to trek home with it in a backpack and it's really heavy and it's an absolute slog. I mean, your fabric softener is the ultimate culprit for that, isn't it? If you've got it in a backpack, it's so heavy walking home from the shop. Dishwasher tablets from Fairy. These are the best ones, don't at me. All purpose descaler tablets for the kettle because London, hard water, it's a... Uh it's pretty gross when you can start to see it in your cup of tea. The pink stuff, I've used the paste before. I use these to clean our mouldy windows. <laughs> Do you ever think, I shouldn't put this on the internet, my mouldy windows? Uh, that was actually something I chose not to vlog because they were really gross. Um, but this stuff was great for really getting through the grime. Um, so I thought I would also try the toilet cleaner. <laughs> Glamorous. So that'll be great for the new bathroom. I also got some Astonish bathroom cleaner, more cat biscuits, but also this I'm really intrigued to try. I've seen good things about this. This is called the Vamoosh Pet Hair Dissolver. Reaching all new heights of cleaning dreams with this one. This is the washing machine cleaner from Vivid. Um, have I ever washed my washing machine? No, but it feels like something I should probably do. But maybe top of the pile, this is the first thing that went in my basket. This is the Lenore Crease Releaser, which if you hang something on a coat hanger and then spritz this stuff, apparently it gets rid of creases. As a girl who couldn't tell you the last time she ironed anything, this could be a miracle in a bottle for me. So if this is the kind of wholesome household haul that lights a fire underneath you like it does me. I don't know about you. <laughs> I would consider this an extremely <laughs> successful household haul. And now that I've shown you all of these goodies, <laughs> I just need to find a home for them all, <laughs> which is a task in itself. Right, let's have a look then. Give me a guided tour. So we've officially peaked in terms of wholesome, hearty home content. Uh, because at the weekend, we started development on our very own herb box. Adam's in charge of proceedings here. He's very proud of it. This is going to give an illusion that we've grown. <laughs> we have cheated slightly. Already. <laughs> we planted these two days ago. <laughs> I planted this basil on Sunday. It's been two days. We cheated a little bit and bought some tubs we from the bought, supermarket. <laughs> bought the basil. Yeah. No, we didn't buy the basil. My mum had grown the basil. Oh yeah, so that's not cheating entirely. That's been planted and it's thriving. Look how sturdy the stem is. Yeah, it's got the little sunny spot. So I think that one's gonna do really well. These are a bit more shady. The rosemary's doing quite well. This was Swiss chard that we planted I did grow that last, year. last year. Yeah. And it's kind of a bit green, so we sort of replanted it. The coriander, however. <laughs> looking, <laughs> looking slightly tragic. I think I'm that's not sure. just. Is it gonna be too shady maybe? I don't know if it's even that, it was just it was just so gangly. I wanted to make it extra cute though, so I got my label maker out and did these really cute little little markers for it. But the exciting news is it looks like we have some growth. So what is this? Oh this is rocket. Here's the rocket. Looks promising to me. That's almost enough for a salad. Still waiting on the parsley, the lettuce, what's over here? Our spinach. Uh spring onions. This is our new pride and joy. I'll keep you updated with our with our bountiful harvest. Rest of the garden, we're going for our usual very wild and out of control style, which is of course great for the environment and the bees and the general pollinators. So that's the, that's the good excuse. Got some roses, the foxgloves are coming up. All these little buds will soon be flowers. Oh. There's a couple here. They will look like these little blue ones here. Slightly crazy but we now house about 10 million bees, so <laughs> we're doing something good. Oh, the garden hall. Well, well, well. We bought a lawnmower and the strimmer. We went full, the full package, the real McCoy, the and full Monty. Good for haircuts as well. No. <laughs> Your beard, maybe? Maybe my beard, but the other day it probably could have done with a strim. <laughs> we're gonna test it out later, I think, because the weather is beautiful. Get out of here. 
Mrs. Graham. I don't want you. Uh, I don't want to annoy you. <laughs> Please don't sting me. You are so stupid. This way. Oh my god, I did it. Woohoo! <laughs> Riding high, the adrenaline, the thrill of getting a wasp out of the window. <laughs> Guess where I stopped painting the other day? I've um, started the hallway process and I did this kind of little alcove by the front door here <laughs> and then decided I'd had enough. Crazy though, isn't it? Because when you're painting white walls, it doesn't always look like it's making that much of a difference. It'll be nice. So I think now I'm going to attempt to start sorting the house out a little bit. I think the main thing for us at the moment particularly is that when you're kind of halfway stuck into a big DIY job, because that part of the house looks dead scruffy and rubbish, it kind of works its way through the rest of the house as well and you you stop like looking after it quite as nicely uh, it's an easy trap to fall into so i'm trying to make sure that because the staircase is in disarray that doesn't pass through the rest of the house as well so maybe if you've got some cleaning to do this would be the perfect time for us to team up and get together <laughs> motivate each other um hopefully this will be a nice little motivating few minutes for you sleeves up ladies Let's get cracking. First thing I'm gonna do is this cupboard under the sink to try and put some of those products away. You're not ready for the chaos under this sink. I don't even really wanna show you this. <laughs> Let's try and organize this slightly. I heard you say You found the story All tucked away In the back of the room been lost for years Far away from the glory In the midst of our day The day routine In the corner of our minds We're not in blue We're not in mourning To raise the Takes more than will Among the things I like to do Craving is one for two And the light of the day that passes on Will somehow be gone this not happening but I just had to have a really awkward moment while Adam was on a very professional zoom call doing a talk through for some software I just had to like sneak in behind him <laughs> like a creep to get something and I must have looked like such a weirdo <laughs> that was an ultimate pandemic moment there I'm so glad we could experience that together the worst part was as well that I opened the door and I needed to get my laptop because I had something urgent to do and I just sort of lurked in the background for a minute, not really knowing how to interrupt him or how to go about this. So that probably made it 10 times weirder for the person that Adam was talking to. <laughs> Me in the background, just like, can I come in? Oh, that was terrible. But having spoken to friends um, who do a lot of Zoom calls and have like very professional jobs and stuff, um, they've had some absolute corkets. I have one friend whose mum came in asking have you seen my bra <laughs> while well, she was on a client call so that's perfect so to the untrained eye this is gonna look like i've just created one enormous mess on top of our bed here uh, but this is actually kind of organized chaos and i'm kind of underway with the packing um i'm sort of there 
I've definitely overpacked. But let me tell you, after 30 years on this earth, I know myself. I know I like to have options when it comes to outfits, depending on whether I'm having a good body image day, a bad body image day, high confidence, low confidence. I need to cover all bases to avoid tears. So on this pile here, I have got my trusty denim dungarees, which are always a good idea and always one of my go-tos. And I'm taking this cute little sweatshirt with me as well, because I think it's going to be a little bit colder up north. So this is like important comfies. And then my stuff down here is my outfit for tomorrow. So I'm just going to wear my blue jeans with a white t-shirt, just so that I'm really comfy on the train. I don't have to think about it when I get up early in the morning and super duper easy. And then I've got very sensible, logical piles of casuals, something in the middle, and a bit more dressy. <laughs> Thinking about it, this is definitely a much easier way for me to show you clothes rather than just folded up little piles on the bed. So quickly gonna run through my casual options. I'm gonna take this really easy little job. I've still got my vaccine sticker on this, wow. Yeah, this definitely needs a wash. I am taking a couple of things which I'm gonna try and ask my mum to wash for me. <laughs> One day I'll grow up. So yeah, I'm gonna take this super casual little light blue dress with me It's got really cute little sleeves and that's dead easy to wear and then obviously I'm taking my jeans with me as well So I thought I'll take a few top options uh, So I'm taking this t-shirt which I love and wear all the time at the moment I've got this to go with my dungarees, which I think is so cute I wore this in bath the other weekend It's this lovely little ribbed top and it's got like it's nice detail. It's got like little lettuce hem to it I'll try and find as much of this as I can and link it down below um, but yeah, I really really like this top. It looks so cute with dungies. Wear that for dog walks and stuff And then I'm also taking this little pistachio cardigan Which is one of my go-to's either to wear over a t-shirt or by itself with jeans My little in-betweeny dress for something in the middle is this white one um, Which I always think is quite cool. It's very kind of baggy and oversized and floaty It's like a smock dress kind of thing, um, but it's got these cute little tortoise shell buttons on it. So I've actually ordered a couple of things, might have placed an ASOS order to my mum's house today. <laughs> She's gonna get all this post tomorrow and be like, yep, yeah, Lucy's home. <laughs> Just in case I don't like what I've ordered, um, I'm gonna take my backup birthday dress. This is always a, a nice one to wear. It's got these lovely little fluted sleeves to it. And then it's this lovely like red floral pattern. And then this denim dress, I really, really love, but this is almost like a little bit dressier. It's um, this light blue denim chambray. It's got little elasticated sleeves here. And then it's just belted at the waist. Um, also really cute. So nothing like super duper fancy, just nice for drinks or whatever. And I'm gonna take my leather jacket with me. So surely I'll wanna wear one of those. <laughs> surely. Trying to hedge my bets here. Most important thing I need to remember is Hannah's birthday present, which is in here. Got some flannels, which I'm gonna put with my wash bag over here. And then toiletries, I think I've just about managed to remember most important things. Uh, contact lenses, contact lens solution, perfumes, a bit of skincare, um, hair stuff, because I'm gonna have to wash my hair when I get back to my mum's tomorrow. Um, and then makeup brushes. I always forget makeup brushes. A few little hair bits, but nothing exciting. This is mostly to get my hair out of my face when I do my skincare. This is a little clippy, which I'm quite enjoying using for like a half up, half down thing at the moment. Um, and then I'll take my trusty GHD Rise, which is a bit of a time commitment, but it does look really nice when I bother to do it. And if you're wondering where my makeup is, that is in here. Oh, this is my little Matilda mask, by the way. I got it on Etsy. How cute is that? I love it. Yeah, my makeup is in this little case. I've tried to just go <laughs> for safe options, to be honest. So I think this will probably be the first time I've ever ventured for a night out in Liverpool and not worn false eyelashes since I was 17. So, um, hey, that's personal growth, my friends. I don't know whether that's lockdown or whether that's just getting a bit older. <laughs> Maybe a combo of the two. Tweezers, eyebrows. This blush is really nice actually. If you haven't tried these, they're from Iconic London and they're the most gorgeous like dewy, sheer cheek products. They're really, really nice. Um, and I did also pop a little glittery eyeshadow in there. A little, a little pairing just in case I feel like spicing things up a bit. Got a couple of little products lined up over here which I still need to use in the morning like deodorant and contact lens stuff, glasses. Um, but yeah, I think I'm done. So apart from this, I just need to put a bag together for the train with like my work stuff in. So like my laptop, camera stuff, uh, headphones, my book. Yeah, all bits and bobs like that. So I think I'm just about getting there. Ah, and of course, a couple of little treats for my mum out of my beauty cupboard, which I always like to take home. Uh, I've got a couple of Body Shop body butters. Um, which I will use, but I just have a lot of things like this. I'm very lucky in that I get sent quite a lot of things. And also a posh little Aromatherapy Associates sleep mist. 
think she'll be pleased. And I think with all that shoved in there, <laughs> definitely don't watch me for packing tips or organisational advice. I'm just about there. God, I really need to get a new suitcase. I got this from Primark for a school trip. So that's how old this is. <laughs> Good old Bertha. She's not called Bertha, but she looks like she should be. So I think I'm just about sorted. By the skin of my teeth, I've just about managed to do everything that I wanted to do today, I think. The house is looking nice. Everywhere's clean and tidy-ish. I just can't believe I'm finally getting to go back. It's been such a long time. It feels feels like I'm very separate from my life up there. So it'll be nice to reconnect and just see my mum and... It's gonna be great. The ghostly girl that you see before you, almost transparent. Can you see the wardrobe behind me? I'm disappearing into thin air. I'm so pale that I did think I was gonna fake tan this evening. And I still may do as a very last minute thing before bed. But I think what's more likely to happen is that I'm gonna take it with me and turn the sheets at my mum's house orange. Last time I was home I kind of got in trouble for coming home too late and too drunk so this time I'll get in trouble for ruining the sheets with my fake tan and nothing has changed in 12 years. So I think it's time for me to log off for the evening. I'm gonna go and hang out with Adam now. Uh, we're watching Sons of Anarchy and literally loving it so much. What a great show. So we're probably gonna go and watch an episode or two of that and then I need to get an early night because I'm gonna get up very early to go and get a train from Euston. That part of doing Liverpool I haven't missed. Euston Station? Do you mean hell on earth? But when your mum and your mates are at the other end of it, got to do what you got to do, haven't you? <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Sorry it's been a little bit all over the place. It's just been one of those days, but it's been lovely to hang out with you. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of chilling, a little bit of garden time. A little bit of everything today. Don't forget I'm going to leave the link to cherries in the description box down below and make use of that discount code. Stock up on the stuff that you need, get you 25% off, live your best life. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye!